Meanwhile, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis making a South Florida stop to sign a new bill on toll relief. And it is expected to save commuters about 50% on tolls every month. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is joining us live. She's in Northeast Miami Dade with the details. And Glenna, what happened? Chrissy Janice, this was one of the three bills that landed on the governor's desk uh, late yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. Property insurance sucked up the most oxygen in the room was the most controversial. That's not signed yet, but that toll relief bill is signed and that has everyone behind it. All right, here it is. The governor signed off on the plan to rebate commuters. Maybe I'll do without this or do without that, but there are certain things that you just got to do. A half a million general revenue dollars earmarked to rebate those who drive through dozens of tolls a month on state run toll roads. The plan passed unanimously through the state house and Senate this week. Working men and women who don't have the luxury of sitting at home and zooming into work every day. They have to get in a car. The reasons don't matter. From January to December 2023 next year, anyone who goes through 35 tolls or more a month using a Florida-based prepaid transponder will get half their toll bill refunded month to month. You know, even if they're saving, um, you know, three, four hundred dollars uh, a year, you know, that's important when, when we're in a situation where we have a lot of the inflation. So that half a billion dollars that's being used, that's part of a huge surplus for the state of Florida this year, in part thanks to the federal COVID relief dollars that came into the state. We have a lot more details on that program. If you drive on toll roads, head to our website at local10.com and there's more details there. Meanwhile, that property insurance bill, governor says he'll probably sign it tomorrow. Come back to us at four and five and we'll talk about it then. I'm Glenna Milberg. Live in Northeast Miami Day today, Local 10 News. All right, Glenna, thank you for that. Turning